Okay, so I've seen a lot of questions lately about tracing a pho photograph. So I've uploaded the photograph that I want to trace, and I'm going to select it, go to Object, Effects, Grayscale, or Gray Shade, and Apply. Now, when it comes to tracing, obviously, select Trace, and then highlight the part of the photo that I want. Let me move this over. I don't want to get that. Okay, and then High Pass. And I'm just going to play with that a little bit. Right there should be good. And I'm going to Trace. I'm going to move this trace. I have kids playing in the background, sorry. Right there. And then on this one, I'm going to trace it again. But <laughs> this one, without high pass filter. Well, with high pass filter on. And then again, I'm just going to play with it. A little bit. That looks good to me. So trace, and then I'm just going to get rid of that. And then what you want to do, since you've traced once with high pass, once without, is align it. And for that I zoom in. Select one of them. And just get where you think. Right there should be good. Zoom back out. And then I'm going to weld. Now this usually takes a little bit. I don't know if it's just my computer or everybody's, but when I'm welding something with a lot of detail, it takes a while. So let's see how long this is going to take. <laughs> I wish I could make it go faster. Or I knew what to talk about while this was happening. Because now we're going to have some awkward silence with a child whining in the background. And it's still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. And maybe you guys can let me know if it's just my computer that takes forever to weld. Or if your guys' computer does it too, that would be nice to know. Still waiting. Still waiting. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so now you see you have all the little parts. And right here is where you'd come in if you don't want all this background stuff. And you can just delete. Oopsies. Go back so it puts it back where it's supposed to be. I did it again. Okay, well, if you want to take the time and just go through and delete whatever you don't want, you can do that at this point. If it's fine how you want it, select everything. Make compound path. And then what I like to do, because right now it looks horrible and you don't really get an idea of it, is go to your paint count and trace it in black. So see how much that changes and you get an idea of what you're actually going to be cutting. And you can also go to these lines up here, right here, and transparent. And that's going to take all the red outline away. And that is my trace. Hope that helps some of you guys.